Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. So I have posted some other videos, but it has been a long time since I've done, <coughs> not, not a super long time. Anyways, it's been a while since I've done an update. And the reason for that is I'm not even for sure, like, where to start. Um, I haven't even, like, started writing our newsletter because life has just been woo and all over the place. It's been really good, but also really um, challenging and hard. Um, we are enjoying our time with family here and friends, We except we haven't seen very many friends. It's one thing that I think makes this trip back hard other than the circumstance that it happened in is we normally come back in the summer. We normally come back in the summer when people aren't doing school and they're not running, they're not running here, they're everywhere doing all these sports and stuff. Life is a little slower. Yes, my family is still crazy with fair and just all these things, but it's still slower. Like they still seem to have, this is gonna sound bad, they still seem to have time for us. But with being here in the middle of the school year, like my aunt's a full-time teacher, my mom um, is doing weekday religious education, where she's teaching and she's filling in for another teacher. And, excuse me. My sister's got basketball. My sister has softball. They just got back from spring break. Like, everybody's busy. And I'm not blaming them. It's just that has made the trip more challenging. Um, but with that, we are still doing school. We are still teaching online, so it's kind of a nice that it's a slower pace and, you know, not everybody has time to run here or there because, honestly, we don't either. You know, we're still having to meet deadlines and Zooms and post assignments and grade and all that. So, we've been busy as well. And, um... Another reason I haven't, like, posted an update is I'm not exactly for sure how to update because things have changed a lot. Like, originally, our original plane ticket date and everything was scheduled for um, April 1st. And so what? That's like this week. And then we changed it. Um, changed it for a couple of reasons. We were, we were nervous about getting Thomas's paperwork back. And then... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share this. You can think whatever you want about our choices. But we chose this one time to get the vaccine. At the time that we made the decision, we weren't for sure if we would be able to get it in the Philippines. Um, we weren't comfortable with the options that they were giving in the Philippines. And there was a possibility of getting it here. Now, here's our main reason and our main stance for getting it. We have a foster daughter that we are hoping to adopt and we want to get back to her as soon as possible. If getting the vaccine, having that in our tool belt makes it easier to get back to her and to be around her and possibly not pass the virus onto her, not pass the virus onto Thomas, like that is something we're willing to do for our children. Yes, we're not for sure how, you know, things will affect us long term, but both Dan and I had all of our vaccines as kids and we're fine. And 
it ultimately comes back to in our thoughts. The Lord knows when we're going home. As long as we don't do something like jump in front of the car, we're not going to change that, you know? So we're just, we're praying through things. We're following the Lord's leading. And I don't, I, I've always been a people pleaser, which is not a good thing. I mean, you want to live in a way that you're not causing conflict and, and getting along. You try to get along with people, but we weren't created to please other people. We were, we were created to honor and glorify God. And so with every decision and thing that we've had to make, I've had to step back and say, what's best for my family? What do we need to do? and set aside what other people might think so anyways don't i don't want to get on a soapbox or anything but so with that decision to get the vaccine yes we've gotten all of thomas's paperwork but we still have to get our second shot so um we needed excuse me We needed to move our flight back. And then we thought with the lockdown and everything that we needed to move it again. So we moved it to April, uh, May 3rd. So we thought, but then come to find out they are letting our visa type in and things. So we shouldn't have any issues. Um, it's still gonna be a lot of work. We still have to fill out a lot of things pray for us. We're just praying that it all works out and everything falls into place. Excuse me. I shouldn't do these videos late. Not, it's not late, but it's like later in the evening. So maybe I wouldn't be on so much. But, um, what was I? Anyways, so we thought we needed to move it back and then there wasn't any flights. And then we contacted them a few days ago come to find out our flight never got changed to May 3rd like we thought it had. So we have flight plane tickets to return to the Philippines for April 18th. And part of me is, I guess with any of these situations, any of these, any of these decisions, you can be torn. But I'm really trying to go back to what is best for our family. What is best for the child that has no idea, no understanding of what's happening right now that's back in the Philippines. You know, like I don't want her to have this idea in her head that we have abandoned her in any way. And so, um... I'm constantly trying to communicate with her and, you know, Facebook video chat and all that. But I, but we know that the sooner we get back, the better. Does this mean that we're possibly going, I'm probably going to miss the birth of our niece or nephew that Dan's sister's having? Yes. Am I sad about that? Yes. Is it a bummer that I won't meet them until after they're one? Yes. But there's also making sure that my own child remembers me. Um, and I'll, I'll do another video later. We have, we have some exciting news, some exciting updates related to our daughter. And so we want to get back. We want to be a part of those things. So yeah, it's... It's been up and down of when we were flying back, how things were working out. Um, we've had different ups and downs with family. When you've lived on your own with your own family, it's hard anytime, no matter what, you know, family dynamic you have, it's hard to then move back in with your family. So, you know, we're always working through those bumps. <laughs> There's the bumps in the road. 
time with figuring out things when you have a loved one pass away. So yeah, there's just, there's a lot going on. There's been bumps and things with us being here and our foster daughter still being in the Philippines and taking care of her from afar and, you know, making sure the internet's working so that we can communicate, making sure that um, the people that are taking care of her have phones that work, like making sure that they have enough food and groceries and things. It's just hard. Um, and, and there, and there's definitely hard times when we're over there too. But Dan and I have done it for six years together overseas with just us and um we know when to grab onto community I you know I know those certain people and things that we can go to um and we have that when we're here too so we'll we'll make it through this and I'm gonna you know enjoy times holding nephew and playing with nieces and nephews and all that while we're here and I'm thoroughly looking forward to and praying um, for great snuggles with our foster daughter. So anyways, sorry this was a long update but we're doing well. We have our plane tickets. The Lord continues to provide. We are so thankful for you that watch our videos. We're so thankful for you that pray for us and partner with us financially and I'm just walking along on this journey with us. So we love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye. God bless.